Hello everyone, my name is Leon. I'm from a push shop company and today in this video back to our topics about Alibaba ranking optimizations. This video will talk about how to operate Alibaba accounts. It means to monitoring your status, to monitoring your data in order to make suitable adjustment for your account. So let's get started. So first, I would like to give you a famous quote that a lot of inspirations and a lot of inspirers, they talk about this. So, productivity is never an accident, is it always the result of a commitment to excellence, intelligent planning and focused effort. It's speak by Paul Mayers and is it also the same that you can apply to Alibaba account as well. So it means that you need to have the uh, overall control of what you are doing. You need to know what is your uh, how you are operate account. Will it good or will it be bad to make any uh, adjustment to make suitable change for your account? So let's get back. So the things I want to share with you over here is to control. Whenever you operate any activities on Alibaba.com, you should always keep track of what you are doing and make suitable adjustments. It means that, for example, you post new products on Alibaba.com, you post new categories you should always monitoring the performance of that products whether the that product had good performance or not or whether is the under performance so that you can change like the pictures of the products or you can change the template design or even the keywords you are using to improve the performance of that particular products so I um, will talk about part one today. It will be analytics. Use the new tools of Alibaba to keep track of your data relevant in your account. So I will show you specifically where to look for the tabs on Alibaba.com. So now um, we will get back to this. Okay, so under the tabs over here, you can see the things analytics under myalibaba.com another tabs of analytics is had uh, several parts over here that you can pay attention to first one overview second one visitor shops products staff account and market insight so these are the main things that you should consider whether to look under the tabs of analytics so for the market inside the keyword analysis this is uh, not the ways to uh, monitoring your account. This is just a play to look for the keywords and also to see the trends of the keywords on the market. As you can see over here, they can prefer a lot of keywords for your account. Now, to get back at our slide today. So, it means that data will tell you everything. There are six main criteria you should consider star ratings, data overview, visitors, shops, products, and staff account. The most important thing is you need to understand your data in order to make suitable adjustments. So what does it mean? For example, display data in graph over here. You can see it uh, keep tracks of your uh, data for example this week the your views over here and for the next week it go down and this week it go down so you when you see this problem you need to make a solutions for this and for next week you can improve the performance into this one so the main point here is to monitoring each increase and decrease elements inside your data by day, by weeks, and by month. So the first part I will talk about is the products. 
So there are two uh, main criteria for products. The first one is performance product and the second one is non-performing products. The performance products are the groups of, P, uh, groups of products that show great result in creating attraction for your shop, including views, clicks, inquiries, and visitor. Why non-performing products is the groups of products that under or poor performance and attracted low volumes of customer and affection. So I will show you how you can show you can see this under the tab of analytics you can see over here and then you scroll down a little bit. There are two tabs over here. The first one is performance and so the second one is non-performing. So I will click directly into it and explain to you. So under the tabs of performance they uh it had the tabs over here is named product overview you can see the number of products the number of product visited is mean how, how many products uh, have been visited by customer on alibaba.com also the number of products with inquiries or number of products with orders and so on and then I slow down a little bit I can see whether uh, my product is uh, effective or not so for example this product you can see uh, this product is had the owners, the views, the clicks, the click through rates, visitor in inquiries, inquiry rates. So is for uh, for example this product is had the high performance, is had a high view, high clicks, and also high click rates. And I slow down a bit. Uh, if you click directly into the icon over here, it will categorize for you into the decrease or increase criteria. Also, a little bit over here, you can tick directly to this any parts of it, and it will pops up a new uh, column for you. So it said to me the six are uh, in uh, reliables. Okay, and then you can click over here to see all of your product showcase. Okay. So whenever you see if your product showcase is not uh, effective, you can change your product showcase by click directly over here. For example, this is a sub account, so I cannot do it. But uh, I will talk about how to manage your product showcase later on the next videos. In this video, I'll just uh, talk about the, the overviews of analytics and overview of customer and so on. So this is all the things that under the performing products. You can see the current status of your products. Also, you can categorize on the things over here. You can see. Also, a little bit over here, you can choose the timelines of the performance that you want to see. And I recommend that you should uh, monitoring the performance products by months, weeks, and day two. For example, I want to see this month. I tick directly into the month, and it will show me how many is, uh, views, how many clicks this month. This product had brought me, and also the inquiry and uh, and so on. So I see, for example, this products had low views and low clicks low click rate, visitors and inquiry so I may replace it as a product showcase in order to increase my view, increase my clicks and others uh, of my criteria of my data so next one I will talk about non-performing products so what is it? non-performing products are those products that have been not active if you show great performance on Alibaba.com so here we, you can see there the time line over here if your products is uh, have the time lines of inactive or under performance over 365 days and above it will automatically the system will take an offline your product so you need to maintain your products uh, by the month, so I sample this one and I take to the timeline 3 days and above. So you can see over here I got a lot of 
uh, underperformance uh, during the last week so I may uh, want to change uh, this and I want to improve this so how you can take off the non-performing products so you there are actually uh, two ways you can do this the first one is uh, you can edit the products over here you can click directly to it okay for example and then you need to change on the things you can see over here you can change the keywords you can change product name and change the product descriptions also the product templates that you want to change it so first you need to analyze what the, the conditions of these products why they got so low views and why they got underperforming time for so long so you need to have the solution for it or the second way I what I absolutely not recommend you to do this you can delete the products or take an offline but I absolutely not recommend you to do this because the products that contain the keywords and it may affect your condition as well as contact your uh, ranking optimization on Alibaba.com. So we finished with the product parts over here and now we will move on to the visitors parts of our discussion today. So there are three things under the visitor you should pay attention to. The first one will be demographic the overview of visitor composition preferring keyword reasons analysis it will be visitor details of your shops which are regions pay view durations top shirts your keyword ranking also your keywords collection use so where you can see these uh, criteria I will show you back to our uh, my Alibaba so under the tabs of visitor you can see over here first one I will talk about demographics so what's the uh, demographic is had three uh, four main criteria you can see over here and also first one you can see there's a timeline you can hear you can see over here you can click it to have the timeline for example the visitor composition it can show you the percentage of verified buyers is mean the customer who send you inquiries how many percent of them are verified and how many percent of them are not verified also the percentage of buyer trade during the last 90 days so which mean how many of them have made direct transactions on Alibaba.com but uh, this criteria is not important because uh, not many uh, customer they make online transactions and some of them like to make orders uh, platform transactions such as PayPal or LC, TT and so on and last one is the percentage of new in return buyers so you can see over here is uh, I this account got 81% of new buyers and 90% of return buyers so it means that this account got a lot of new buyers new customers so you need to keep tracks of these new customer and also don't re don't forget to take care of the return buyers because the these buyers are uh, the buyers have the pay great attention to your products so you should take great care of them and for the tabs up top referring keywords it means the keywords that related to your industry but not on the Alibaba platform on the Alibaba platform they have the preferred keywords on this platform so the system will automatically uh, static your keywords and then they can give you some recommending keywords and you can use the keywords as well for the top relevant keywords it's not only on the Alibaba platform but it's also contained in other platform as well as the system will calculate other system like Google Amazon and other platform how the user search keywords and they recommend to you to use the keywords but 
as for me I recommend you to use the preferred keywords on Alibaba.com because it had the higher related to your keywords on Alibaba platform and last one is mod view products you can see how the products that have the most view and you can use the keywords or you can use the campaign like the keyword advertising campaign to increase your view products or make the ranking better also you can see here this has the duration of stay so this product had a lot of duration of stay you can see and last but not least is the visitor by reason so this one is also the very important criteria you should consider so this account they got a lot of customer come from United States of America so it means that the customers these are customer are uh, their main source of buyers so I should pay attention to these reason and for example if I want to improve my exposures on Alibaba.com I may use keyword advertising or I want to use the technique to improve my ranking on optimizations for these reason and next one is Australia, China, Mexico, Vietnam and so on so for example some customer they target the specific countries and regions however uh, they didn't have the certifications for export so you can in this case you can choose whether to target this reason or not you or you can use the other reasons that are suitable for your uh, potentials market next one I will talk about analysis so these are the, the visitor details of your sh company your shop these have the time range over here regions on owners and so on so if these are the visitor is mean the customer who visited my shop during the last 31 days on so you can see there are one two three four five six seven seven main elements over here you can see this one is the IDs of the visitor the reason pay view how many pages they see duration of stay most search keywords activity on my shop and activity on website for example if I, I take great attention to the duration of stay I might figure out whether this uh, customer they are the real customer or not or they are uh, the suggested visitor that not my target customer also you can see over here it you can you can can you see the the things over here this has an icon over here it means the keyword leads them the customer search on Alibaba platform and they found they found out your shop through these keywords so you should consider to use these keywords for your products in order to improve your exposure on Alibaba platform so for example this customer they search my shop through the keywords of wicker basket so I should consider to use these keywords more often in my products accounts also uh, the regions as you can see so if you want to see uh, for example what the customer is saying inquiry you can click over here inquiry in message center with notes uh, you can see over here activity so how you can see how many inquiry they send to suppliers and so on so you if you want to target this customer to be your uh, main important customer you can add note over here and say that this is potential one percent two and according to your needs you can click directly over here and you can click save and it will under the tab with, with notes over here it will show you over here but I have an ad so it will be none next one I will talk about uh, top shirt 
So what is top shirt? Top shirts, uh, they are static your keywords you are using on other platform and also the performance of each individual keywords. It has the time frame from weeks to months. For example, I will select the time frame of month of August. So you can see these keywords, the home they call, they got views 5,283 views, 109 and, and nice clicks, also lead to raise exposure and salary. The top 10 here is very important as you can consider to the keywords whether it's e effective or not and top range average click so these keywords have very impressive uh, percentage according to my uh, according to my view also the supplier competitions how many supplier they using these keywords and if you click directly into the this keyword it will show you the product ranking for example this product ranking is at the uh, page view page 2 row 27 so this keywords is worth using or you can click download the keywords of this one in order to keep track of your current uh, situations for example this one you can click properties it will show you the data of this month and you can use this data to make evaluations from the last month to this month whether it's increased or not for example also you can click over here keyword in use you can tick and it will show you keywords that you are using also keywords not views so all of my keywords are view so if you have any keywords that not view you should consider to replace the keywords or you, you should evaluate whether it keywords uh, is suitable for your shop or not you, in order to make adjustment also keywords views or sample you can see also over here is how many keywords you got so I have finished the visitors so I will move on next into the very important part of our discussion today is we always keep track of your customer like I mentioned to you you should know where, where are they from and need to have a target market for your company so this one I will talk about star ratings the important performance evaluation that should always monitoring and pay attention to so where can you see star rating so under the tab analytics over here you can click star ratings okay wait a minute uh, my connection the net connection may have the problems sorry for the inconvenience hmm. so like I'm like I mentioned to you star reading is a new tool from Alibaba system there were uh, tools before it's called supplier related in supply index it the new star rating system is like the new revolutions from Alibaba system it will uh, show you a lot of important criteria for your uh, company okay now it's working so I talk about first is your focus star rating is mean your your star rating they are focused during the next important weeks overall account warranty so this account has two star and it will update it da daily also com communication and service capability so the main things I will uh, explain to you each one of these uh, criteria over here so first one is product information score is mean how the score of your products page template design so you need to have the score higher than 
then the normal product information score of other suppliers also the mini size conversion rate the mini size conversion rate how to calculate it it will be the mini size terminal visitor plus the mini size inquiry visitor divided by mini size visitor so in order to be simple it means not how many percent the customer will send you inquiry each time they visit your mini site also safety and regulation compliance score number of business in opportunity it means your inquiry and also the numbers of approved or FQ quotation in RQ market click flow rate over here click through rate is the rate of your the customer whenever they go into your product page template whether they will click into the next product related your related product to see your next products average response time this means your response rate so how to optimize the star rating so I recommend that the easiest way to do this is to increase your mini size conversion rate and how to increase it so first of one you should take a look at your mini size and to figure out whether your mini size is good or not to figure out whether your mini size have great impressions for the customer or not so that you can make the suitable adjustment like you can change the banner you can change the pictures of the mini size in order to, to improve your conversion rate and it will eventually increase your star rating also your number of business opportunities is also a good way to increase your star rating and you can increase this by receiving a lot of inquiry and number of RQ quotation approved so how to do this for for RQ you should design a professional template so that customer feel attracted when they read at your RQ submission and they will respond to you and it will eventually increase the number of business opportunity also for in an inquiry how to increase you can increase the inquiry by creating an impression product page template or you can change the price MOQ and so on and this topic I will have a separate topic to talk about it later so that's it the uh, overall uh, looks at the star rating so I hope that you have the better understanding now next one I will talk about product control fix your error products part 2 optimize your products follow the optimization tool on alibaba.com so it i will talk about the search ranking optimization center so the the has four main important element that you should pay attention to first one is the product levels second one supplier quality overall keyword score product required optimizations so I will show you where you can take a look at it and the type of products you can see over here product optimizations this is the third ranking optimization center of Alibaba system the, uh, the main center you can see all the problems of your current account so first of all is the product level how many high quality posting you got how many average posting you got and how many poor quality posting for some of this account they got uh, 67 duplicate product you can click directly to it and then you can change or you can modify this product and fix your products for some of this one they recommend me to keep this product so I would edit this one to improve the my products levels okay so next one is the product performance you can keep track of your performance over here also a little bit over here is product 
require optimizations. I have a lot of elements over here like duplicate products, mid colorized products, product with poor quality image. So you need to see the problems and then you can click directly into the numbers. It will show you how to fix your errors and I absolutely recommend you to fix all of these products in order to have the better control of your account and in order to have the higher ranking of your products. Also the non-performing second products is mean the non-performing products that non-updating for 365 days so that is the reason why I mentioned to you earlier in this discussion that you should always pay attention to the non-performing product and try to fix the product as soon as possible also the supplier quality and the overall keyword score I will talk about this uh, directly first one is uh, supplier related activity so on the tab of listing performance you can see over here the reason import performance is very important that you can need to keep track of your performance during the last four weeks and you can monitoring whether uh, the, your performance is increasing or not for example the from this week they had it had low attraction and this week they are increasing and this one they increasing again and and this one they are decreasing so you should monitoring each week and try to figure out whether the form the form one of this week is better or they are decreased so how can you fix the problem so in order to increase the supplier related activity you should lock in your account day by day it means you should show the labor system that you have actively on Alibaba.com also you should send in RQ to the customer uh, weekly daily in order to keep the good performance also fix all of your products it will be also in affect your performance of the supplier related activity so I will show you this one week 1, week 2, week 3 and week 4 next one is about keywords keywords are rates for catching audience attention good is the groups of keywords so rate affections as well as for customer need to be developed further bad is the groups of keywords show a low affection and need to be optimized so where can you see the keywords another tab products over here and and there you can have see keyword performance it's a little lag so sorry another tabs over here it will show you the overall score you got over here if your score is higher than 50 it will be um, good but if it's lower then you should consider to use the keywords you other keywords or to delete stop using that keywords for example I can, can see over here it, which keyword I got high view and low leaks I can click over here to see so I try to figure out why they got high view and low leaks so I'm going to click directly details so you can see over here I can see these product why they got so view low views and clicks you can click directly into the products and see and see the reason why try to find out your problem and fix your problem for this product I think the reason why is uh, the product page template is a little bit the uh, lack of information so that is the reason why so when you figure out the problem you should show the solution for your uh, account another things like this one high low view and high click high view high clicks it's a little bit there yeah, you can see so these are the keywords that is uh, available for your account and you should definitely improve the keywords 
ranking of these keywords. I will see low view and close links. That's it, the overview of these uh, keyword optimization. For high view and close link, you should find out what is the problems, and then you can change the problems by making solutions for your products. Like you can change the pictures of the products, or you can replace the product template design. Next one, and will be the last one of our discussion today. I will talk about customer leads. Customer is your profit. That's the absolutely true. So there are three main parts I want to mention to you over here. First one, customer lead, customer leads, open lead, customer leads, business cards. These are the three main uh, parts over here. I will show you uh, where you can take a look at it. Now back to my Alibaba. Under the tabs of customer, you can see over here customer list. It, the system is a little bit of uh, lagging today. Okay, so. Uh, Okay, it's working now. So this is a new uh, system improve functions of Alibaba.com. It, it has a lot of things you need to update it regularly. So first one, this is the customer list. The, this customer come from your uh, inquiry, come from other source such as Stray Manager as well and you can keep track of your customer for example you can change the owner customer groups follow stay you can mark up time of note and you can mark the level of importance over here so for example if I see the information of this customer and I see he's uh, important, I can click directly to mark him as important and one of my potential customer also purchase calories and so on I slow down a little bit to see all of it for example I mark him as important inquiry customer so for example these are uh, inquiry customer that I recommend to take care of them so you can mark all of them in the important symbol or you can uh, modify customer data you can mark them to get follow up with them or you can add it batch operation this means you can select all of these uh, things over here and edit at the same time next one I will talk about open leads Open lead is also the new things are uh, introduced by Alibaba. It will evaluate the score of the customers. This one, the higher the score, is mean the higher the quality of customer. And also customer groups, you can see again level importance. So you can verify. So how the customer get high score? The high score customer come from they got a lot of information such as gmail.com for example also the customer search also in the information and this, this customer he got the verify icon uh, and also the mobile phone the email position and all some other information so that is the reason why they got a uh, high score uh, however, these there are some customer who got low score, but it doesn't mean that uh, they are not a good customer because some customer they hide their information in order to protect their privacy. So you uh, should consider to see whether this customer is your potential customer or not. Last one, I will talk about uh, business card. This one is very important too. 
so you can see over here if you can have any business card request it so if customer send you a card request you can go to this section and you can tick to add your customer's business card to evaluate it also receive how many cards you have received you can chat directly with him or you can see you can send your business card to this customer send the same customer you have sent card with in the current status the interactions and so on also friend is mean this customer and I have been trade the business card also you can go to my contacts to see all of the customers the reasons and rank the higher the rank they have the higher potential for uh, your company so the main point here is care them customer is like a baby you need to show them how you treat them as well as they will give you in return the greater benefit than that however in some situation you need to consider as to whether to take care of this customer or not and whether they are potential customer of your company or not because uh, if you wasted your time in take care of the customer and they didn't your target customer and it will be time wasting so the main point I want to share with you is to build your own CRM system customer is the main profit of any business therefore you need to build relationship with them as long as they are happy they are profit so a lot of customer on Alibaba they not the one time purchases they are also the return purchases so you need to show them you are providing not just the good but you provide them the best warranty service you need to show them your relationship with them you need to give them some promotion in order to give them and in order to make increase and encourage their next purchase in the next time not just uh, make them purchase in one time and then they leave it will be not profitable for your company the main key point here is to make them become your loyal customers to maintain the profit and each customer who became your loyal customer will be very profitable for your company the reason is the money the profit will just eventually return and it will be an endless circle for your company and I think I have uh, provided you all of the important information in this video today is it quite longer than usual but I think it be good because I have provided you all of the useful information and as well as the careful explanations I hope that you all have a good day thank you for listening and if any of you have any question you can send directly to my email below also my name is Lian and uh, the number phone of my company is below if you want to contact me by mobile phone also you want to check the service of our company you can come to ipushop.com and see all of our case study and also our service package i really hope to have a chance to work with you all soon thank you and goodbye